Hi, my name is Matthew Tompkins and this is a tutorial for Creative Cow. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to uh, show various uh, techniques um, to help add a bit more uh, style uh, to text. Uh, in this case and what I'm going to be doing is, doing is creating um, a kind of a sci-fi opener um, well a sci-fi opening text um, so let's get on with that that's a new composition let's call this main and yep 720 by 576 square pixels will be fine and I'm going to hold down control T and that's going to uh, bring up my text tool here um, I'm also going to change uh, my character to Franklin Gothic medium it's a bit more of a thicker uh, character. I'll just increase my uh, font size here. And in caps, I'm going to type in metal and warriors. A separate line. And in case I want to make the text a little larger. Okay, something like that. Um, what I can also do, I can click uh, between the individual characters and then if I hold down Alt or Option key on the Mac and use the left and right arrow key, I can uh, move the uh, characters uh, left and right, just altering the spacing or the, the kerning on them. I'm kind of happy with the uh, spacing of that. Now what I want to do is, is create a new solid and I'm going to hold down Control and the Y key to do that. And here I've got my solid settings. I'm going to call this um, uh, texture for Luma Mat. And I'm going to go to Effect, Noise and Grain, Fractal Noise. And from the fractal type, I'm going to choose strings. Um, now I'm going to drag this texture underneath my text, and I haven't got the correct column open. So if I press F4, I've got access to the track mat uh, column here, and I'm going to choose the luma mat. Now you can see our fractal noise appearing uh, through our text. Now if I go to the evolution uh, checkbox here, and I press down Alt on PC, or uh, I believe it's Option on the Mac, I get access. Um, here to type in a expression. So here I'm just going to type in time, which references the uh, time on your timeline, and I'm going to multiply that using the asterisk key by 200. And I'm going to press the enter key on the numerical keypad. And what that's basically doing is that's giving a value up here to the evolution option. So it's saying sort of time. So I presume it's probably per frame, uh, but I'm timed that by 200 in order to give a slightly higher result. And after I've just run previewed that, we can see the results of the uh, expression here and speed up time, adding to the value of the evolution there. Okay, so that's that's nice. That's the kind of thing I'm going for. Um, what I also want to do is I'm going to select the Metal Warriors text and I'm going to duplicate that by holding down uh, Control or I believe command on the Mac and D and I'm going to turn on the I for that and here we have a kind of mm, slimy sci-fi <laughs> green metal um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mode here so I'm going to hold down the shift key and press the plus and minus and this just alters the uh, transfer modes now I'll toggle through until I find something I like um, in this case, I find that classic color burn works best for me, and it just creates these lovely kind of plasmary uh, effects there using the uh, the splines of the fractal noise. So that's already making our text look a lot more dynamic than the plain green we started with. Uh, so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to select all of these layers. I'm just going to pre-compose them. So I'm going to hold down Control, Shift, and the C key. I'm going to move all attributes into that new composition and I'll call that Metal Warriors Text. 
Okay, and then I'm going to create another solid holding down control again uh, command on the Mac Y and in the name here I'm going to call this texture again I'm going to go to effect I'm going to go to noise and grain fractal noise and this time for the fractal type I'm going to choose terrain and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create uh, my own texture but, uh, well, metal style texture lower the brightness down a little um, that should be fine now with this texture file I have to also pre-compose this uh, for After Effects to recognize it as you'll see shortly again I'm going to hold down control or command on the Mac shift C and I'm going to type in here texture and I can turn the eyeball off for that now and just drag that to the bottom then highlighting my Metal Warriors text comp I'm going to go to effect stylize and I'm going to choose texturize. Um, so yep, here we can see we have a texture layer and I'm going to select two, the texture layer here. And straight away you can see the, uh, the effect this has on the text. You can increase the contrast just, contrast just to make that a little bit more pronounced. And you can also change the light direction also. So if I just track in there a little, zoom in. Um, you can see there we've got a quite a nice uh, pitted metal effect. Um, and to further add to this effect, I'm going to add effect, stylize, roughen edges. And here, well, the default isn't looking so great, uh, but if I go down to rusty color, and I also change the edge color to be, well, a little less dark. I just want something a little bit more subtle and I can also change the border here and various other uh, attributes um, okay I'm kind of happy with that that just adds a nice uh, corroded look uh, to our metal and now what I'll do is I'll press the F4 key just to bring up uh, my parameters here again and I'm going to turn on the motion blur and also make these layers 3D and then finally I'm just going to come here and change the rotation so I'm going to keyframe all those basically I've selected the layer and pressed R and then I've come to a second and a half and let's say this is our final frame and if I select all those keyframes and I hold down the shift key I can actually snap um, these keyframes uh, to my playhead here which is very useful um, now if I come to the start of the animation when I change my rotation here um, try something like that um, yep, that should be fine and also if I hold down shift and P which will bring up my position value I can then snap that also to these keyframes across here using the holding down shift te key technique um, position wise just move these uh, back and maybe just up off the top of the screen. And if I turn on the motion blur effect and do a RAM preview, uh, we can now see uh, Metal Warriors text, uh, which is already quite dynamic uh, with the effect of the plasma and the uh, you can see the rusty metal type rough and edges there too and also the motion blur uh, we can see that flying towards us and I think that's that makes a heck of a lot of difference to what started out as plain ordinary text and already with a minimum amount of work we've got something that looks pretty great and if I hold down the shift key and press F9 with those keyframes selected I can easy ease in on those final keyframes as well and that just allows um, the keyframes just to smoothly uh, animate into place there at the end so there you go there's our metal warriors text uh, I hope um, you may have found some of these techniques useful uh, again my name is Matthew Tompkins thanks for watching